What's up? This is Vic. It's Darian. From Quick Cuts Premium Lawn Care here in Conyers, Georgia. Well, we had a subscriber give us a, a question. They asked me, what is the pros and cons of working with a partner, a business partner? So I'm going to start off by saying the, the pros. There are a lot of pros for um, working as a business partner. So number one, you cannot be at two places at one time, meaning you can't answer the phone to give somebody a quick quote on how um, you're going to service their, their lawn or their hedges or, or whatnot, and then at the same time be cutting someone else's yard across town. It's very difficult, and what happens is when you're going solo, you don't answer the phone, and if you don't answer the phone, you're not picking up customers. Well, another pro is you can't cut all this grass by yourself. You out, you starting to see that you're getting a little bit overloaded, or overwhelmed or whatever because of the time that's required in order to get the yards complete. There's some obstacles you run into. You got to make sure you got somebody that you can call that knows exactly what they're doing so that you don't have to worry or be concerned about someone veering off from you that's inexperienced. That's another uh, plus to having a partner. Number three, if you're quoting a job and you're off, because sometimes you will not quote that the, uh, the cleanup right. And if, you, and if you're off, you don't have to suffer all by yourself, okay? Your partner understand that you're growing and that it takes a little time to get to the place where you you both are able to get the numbers right. For example, Darian sometimes is out doing the cleanup. A customer gives me a call, try to ask me how much it is. I'm not there. I don't know how much it's going to be. So I call Darren. Darren gives me the price, and he said, this is how much we believe it's going to take. And what happens is we're, we're able to put the numbers together to give the customer a price on the spot. Another strength is having a partner where you are obviously know which other strengths. You, all right? you can say, all right, I know he's strong in this part when it comes to the finances or negotiating or dealing with the money. So if you got somebody that say you need to have them call that person to be able to um, get the money that's required. Yeah, they late. They, yeah, late. they late. Right. You got to have that person that can have the tact, but they, that's their strength as well. Right. Where someone, you, it might not be their strength. They might figure out how to uh, negotiate them out of the money by saying, hey, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And you can't grow a business if you can't worry about a whole bunch of your customers not paying you. Mm -hmm. like, like Darren's strength is really good in um, selling people mm -hmm. the work. You know, he doesn't seem too strong or like, you gotta get this work. It's more like really pleasing. They really trust his opinion mm -hmm. and he comes across um, really trustworthy. Where maybe I might come across a little abrasive you know, sometimes where I'll be <laughs> like, look, this is how much it costs and this that's the bottom line. They're like, oh, okay, uh, we, we, we don't want the work done. You know, I'd be like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know, we can figure this thing right. out. Right. <laughs> Still being, being the same price, though. I know, definitely. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're moving on to the cons. One of the first cons, which is really obvious when you uh, get into a um, business with somebody, <laughs> is that you make less money. Right. <laughs> you you want to elaborate on that? Yeah, you got to split the money up where you can count the money and be like, man, if I was by myself, this is all I would have made. <laughs> but yeah. then sometimes you can be in a delusion because if you was by yourself, you wouldn't have made half of that. That's you might have stopped way before you even got to the point to be able to get to that point. Right, so mm -hmm. you, you won't make as much, all right? Yeah. All right, another con is what do you do when you had a stalemate right. on opinions? Right. Where you're like, well, one person says this way, the other person says the opposite. And, and, and there seems to be no negotiation in right. it. How do you get to that point to being able to figure out how can you communicate where it can be a win-win mm -hmm. or it, it, where, where the person can agree to disagree and we still move forward? That's so right. That's, that's one of the cons. Well, you know, you're debating whether or not to buy that Bradley or you're like, no, nah, let's hold on. We got another repair. We can repair this. Like, right. he wants to fix everything. Sometimes I'm like, man, get rid of it. Right. And that just go ahead and repair it. So, yeah, that's important to understand that. Which gets back to, to the money part, because I know that when you go to do the repair, if you can't fix it yourself, it's going to dish that money out. I know that's right. Well, another thing uh, when it comes to partnership, you may be off as a con, is the time. How much time one person want to put into the, um, the business 
versus the time the other person want to put in the business. Right. Sometimes, man, you know, you be putting in that work, man. You like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it all night. Then you might see your partner like, you like, come on, man, you could do a little bit more. You're like, man, I'm tired. You right. know, I've been out here cutting grass all day. I, I, I ain't doing nothing else at this point. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. You know where the person's strengths are. You know, one person can seem that that they can just see this thing almost kind of like a video game. We can play this thing all night. Well, the other is like as soon as the lawnmower cuts off and pack up, everything is almost packed up in their mind like, hey, we'll pick this back up tomorrow, although business is still required to take place to make sure that it functions properly the next day or not, not even necessarily the next day. You're looking always into the future. You're trying to make sure that you have that, that span to where you're looking out with that, four, far, with that forecast, and that requires coming home and putting some work in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like you say, once that more stops and at the end of the day you didn't sweat it, you're like, hey, I'm trying to get ready for tomorrow. I'm done. Now, we already talked about finances. Right. But, and, you know, another um, a, another con is um, trying to figure out how much money to put back into the business. Right. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of times we have to evaluate um, each other's what, what, what do we need in order to, um, let's just say, make ends meet. Right. You know? Sometimes you may not need it, where the other partner may need, you know, a little bit more of that profit. You want to say anything on that? Yeah, I mean, and even in that part where you know that the other person is taking a sac making a sacrifice, and, you know, it's that tension between them because you know that all in all it's still business and everybody wants to feel as if they are benefiting from putting themselves or expanding themselves in this business or, or, or extending themselves in this business. And so there's that tension in it where you still know that you have these these required needs that are re in, required in your life. And then that's where you gotta also be transparent with your partner so that your partner can at least see that this is factual. You've done some homework, you put your time in, you know your numbers, then they, that, there's a way, that's the way through the communication it can kind of help a little bit better where it's okay, I'll extend this way, but then you, you'll recover me back that on the next go round when, when we're more ahead in the game. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you understood what Darren was saying. I yeah. understood him because <laughs> I'm in business <laughs> with him. <laughs> All right. Hey, fam, so um, let's conclude. I believe I am fit to be in a partnership. You know, I feel like I work better, you know, being in a partnership versus working solo because sometimes working solo for me, I just don't, I just don't have that energy uh, to keep going. So being in that partnership with my with my brother right here, um, it helps me to understand that I'm not just doing it by myself. Because a lot of times when you out there, I, I know you guys working solo. You can see it um, all on YouTube, guys working solo. It's my hat's off to you. I don't know how you're gonna grow your business. So that'd be another um, pro. When you're in a partnership, you can really see yourself growing because that weight or that burden um, getting to the next level is not on you. All right, everybody knows the saying two heads are better than one. We know that two batteries have more power as like of a three batteries when they work in together compared to being a solo. So in that, you know, you got you got where you can feed off of each other's energy, you can motivate each other, and you have all these aspects where you have a partnership compared to where if you walk in solo, you don't have those. Sometimes when you're down, you're just down and you don't have someone else also for accountability mm -hmm. also to say hey what you doing yeah. hey i'm counting on you I know that's and right. so therefore that's where the partnership comes in but also you want to you know take in consideration getting into business with someone to make sure that you do truly trust that person that they're truly going to pull their end of the weight mm -hmm. that they have the understanding of what they're getting into they count all the calls mm -hmm. and so therefore that that's going to take some time or you know make sure that there's clear understanding of the agreement, mm -hmm. as well as, you know, for example, Vic and I, we've known each other for uh, almost 19 years. So therefore, we had time to know each other way before we got into business to know each other's characters and know each other's strength to actually know what we're getting into. So, you know, you want to take those things into consideration. You don't necessarily have to know some person for all those years, but you do that to make sure that you're very clear on both ends what it is that you expect of each other before you go into this thing that's right gotta have some skin in the game do not go into partnership with people who do not have skin in the game and i am talking about this <laughs> i'm talking about money okay I, I i'm all i'm all for people who want to come in and help out and want to put their part in and energy but nine times of ten that doesn't do this you know at the beginning you got to split the cost down the middle you got to 
And then when it comes to, like we already said, work on your strengths and, you know, deal with your weaknesses. All right, y'all. Um, Cut on. I want you to like and subscribe to the channel. And I appreciate all my subscribers now. Um, please, if you got a comment, tell me some of your pros for either going solo and why you do it or tell me some pros or why you in a partnership and tell me some of your cons of going solo and tell me some of your cons of um, having that partnership. So uh, cut on, Lawn Care Family, cut on. We're cutting out. Peace.